Hey guys, what's going on here? Uh, it's Tuesday, so as normal, I'm doing my video. Uh, Bob here, Logan here as well. Say hi, Logan. No, he's shy. He just wants to walk on my movies. So, didn't get a lot of movies this week. This will be the quickest video I've done, um, period. I, and the reason I didn't buy a lot of uh, retail is because I did order um, a handful of laser discs from a website. But I found that somebody, uh, somebody in another YouTube video talked about all these laser discs they'd order from a website, and I went. He had tons of them at like a buck a piece, so I bought those, hoping that they'd be here by today, and they weren't. So I guess they'll be in next week's video. So it only leaves the uh, the handful I got today, and uh, they are actually <laughs> some guy VHS. I got DV, uh, VHS, one HD DVD, and one Blu-ray. The Blu-ray technically, I guess you could consider it a Christmas present because I did have a gift uh, gift certificate for uh, Bull Moose and I went uh, we went over a couple nights ago and I picked out something that I uh, that I hadn't that I hadn't didn't own and hadn't seen in a while I was looking for uh, I was actually looking for a copy of the Hudsucker proxy which I know is on blu right now and they didn't have it and I didn't feel like special ordering it so I picked up something else but I'll get to that last um, I'll start with the VHS tapes that I got this week, and uh, three of these are movies I've never seen, um, but sounded pretty good. And one of them, one of them I've seen a million times, uh, and that, uh, that one is La Caja Fall, uh, which is um, I actually think I talked about this in one of my other movies because I do. Um, I thought I had had it um, on VHS, and when I checked, I was like, man, I could have sworn I talked about it. But the reason I talked about this is because I have the Birdcage, and I have Birdcage, uh, the Birdcage, which is the American remake with uh, Robin Williams and Nathan. This is the original movie, uh, the French film that that was based on. And this is just as funnier, if not funnier, uh, than The Birdcage. So if you've ever seen The Birdcage, you should watch uh, La Caja Fall also and check that out. And then the other movies are uh, ones I've never heard of, although this film, the first one uh, that I grabbed, uh, The Paperboy, did sound familiar, and I'm not 100% sure if I have seen it or if I've just seen this around, but basically it's about a... a, uh, a you know, family moves to this town, and they kind of befriend the, uh, the you know, the local paper boy, and he becomes obsessed with the, uh, with the mother character and stuff, so it's, uh, like a thriller, you know, psychological thriller, uh, I guess probably in the vein of, like, a single white female, maybe, or, uh, Hand That Rocks the Cradle, that sort of thing. It's from that same time period, um, you know, from the mid, uh, you know, early to mid-90s, so they had, there was a bunch of movies like this. I don't know if this was theatrical or not, um, because I don't remember it ever coming out. I didn't. I certainly didn't see it theatrical if it came out. Um, but I figured uh, again. These are you know thirty cent tapes, and uh, I've been in a mood for some thrillers lately and stuff. And uh, you know, I don't want to say generic kind of things, but we'll give uh, that a shot. I'm actually thinking this might be my afternoon movie, and we'll see how that goes. And then I uh, grabbed uh, two two other ones that I have not uh, have not heard of. This movie with uh, Feruza Balk. Um, called Life in the Fast Lane sounded pretty uh, sounded pretty good. It uh, seems like a you know it's a comedy, you know '90s comedy where her uh, I guess her boyfriend dies and he comes back to haunt her, um, but you know in a comedic fashion. And it looks like uh, is that Noah Taylor? Yeah, Noah Taylor must be the boyfriend. So it sounds pretty uh, it sounded pretty funny. So I I grabbed that. And then the last one I grabbed another one that I've never heard of, but I I am a I'm a Unsolved Mysteries Robert Stack fan, and of course uh, Airplane Robert Stack. So this uh, film Most Wanted, which actually has Robert Stack and Tom Selleck, and uh, Robert Stack plays um, the chief of a uh, not of a police a whole police uh, bureau, but a police unit where they are. What did it say? They are uh, like the most wanted unit, so they're handling like uh, special cases and stuff. And uh, it sounded uh, it sounded pretty decent. So it's uh, you know Robert Sack and Tom Selleck and Tom Selleck's mustache. Um, and what looks I mean the cover of this is all drawn art, and it actually looks like the cover of maybe like a a, a children's crime novel. Like it it reminds me of the cover of uh, man with uh, those those children's what were those children's books, the uh, the boxcar children is that what that was called the same kind of art i don't know something about it reminded me of that but anyway that's why i grabbed that one and then uh, the last two things i grabbed i got two discs um and this was because it, it, by the way i got all of these with uh, with my gift card and that's and that's the reason that i only got a few things here i had a i had a 25 dollar gift card to bull moose uh that i got from uh, my girlfriend's parents for christmas so that was pretty cool of them so thanks for that um but the last uh, couple things i grabbed uh, Will Smith, I Am Legend on HD DVD. This is actually the the combo HD DVD regular disc, and uh, uh, I saw this theatrically, and I really liked it. And I haven't seen it since, and uh, figured, you know, since I am still, I'm slowly collecting all the HD DVDs that, that were made available because there's only a few hundred. 
I think I have about probably 25, 20, 25% of what was even made available right now. And, um, you know, I'm slowly picking them up as I, as I can. And I just want to finish off the gift card, which is why I grabbed this one. Because after, uh, after the Blu-ray and the, uh, the VHS, I had like two bucks left and I finished it up and I went right to almost right to 25 bucks. So, um, but this was a pretty good one. I mean, you, in my opinion, you have to be pretty strong actor to carry a movie um you know basically by yourself so you know will smith you know his last go around with after earth i hear was not very good but you know he can carry he carried this whole movie um you know movies like uh cast away uh with tom hanks or uh, even to a lesser extent like 1408 with um john cusack you know those are movies where it's just pretty much one guy carrying the whole movie and uh if, if you can pull that off and make an entertaining movie then you're you're obviously a pretty decent actor and uh will smith is definitely up there and then the last one I grabbed, and this was the well, it was the first thing that I grabbed when I got there when I was looking through the Blu-rays, um, and that is Street Trash. And uh, this was this is great because uh, I was introduced to this movie when I was probably 14 or 15 years old uh, by one of the guys I worked with at the movie theater. He loaned me his VHS copy, and uh, I was hooked. I absolutely love it. I love the uh, the you know the 80s. This movie came out in '87, and I love the 80s like ultra-violent, like, gory movies and stuff, and the, the, the fun thing about Street Trash is, um, and if you've never seen this, by the way, it's about, uh, you know, it's about homeless, you know, Street Trash, like, vagrants who live, uh, you know, live on the streets, and they, uh, they drink this, um, booze that had been left in the basement of a liquor store for years, and it melts them instantly, so, uh, that's, you know, this, this scene on the front where somebody who's drinking the, the booze on, like, a, a toilet is iconic, and he melts right into it and stuff, and you can see on the back here some of the other images, of, uh, you know, people who are drinking and melting it. That's actually the toilet guy right there. Some of the other stuff. And, and, and it's just great, and it's fun, and it's cheesy CG, you know, uh, not CGI. It's cheesy practical effects, um, but it's so gross-looking but cool because and this is not very this is not a bloody movie is really the thing. I mean, there is, you know, when they're melting out, you see some blood and gore, but it's in all these... Uh, all weird colors like hot pinks and yellows and greens and stuff as people are melting away so even though it is you know violent and kind of gory it's not really gore it's it's kind of fun stuff and uh this blu-ray is cool uh my girlfriend i watched this she'd obviously she'd never seen this so i uh introduced her to this the other day and she loved it she got a she got a kick out of it. this blu-ray is cool because it has um some extra features on there as well including the original 16 millimeter like 15 minute long short that this is based on and uh, we watched that as well and it's the same plot but condensed into 15 minutes um and that was you know that's kind of cool and then there's also some uh like unseen previously unseen like trailers and stuff so this was um you know this was my uh this is my big find of the week i was i didn't even know to be honest this was on a blu-ray it just came out of last year according to the the back of this and i hadn't seen it out and about so i uh i and i uh that's why i grabbed that because i love this movie and so uh and that's it guys so really that was a pretty quick one this week and uh i wish those laser discs would come in but like i said i will go through those next week and i've decided i'm pretty much just going to skip on the uh the vhs the big bag of vhs that i had because there's so many and most of it's common stuff uh you know i've got Back to the Future in there, and uh, like Mr. Nanny, and random stuff that isn't anything like too crazy to write home about anyway, so, um, you know, everybody's seen Back to the Future by now, I think, at this point, so, anyway, uh, that was a quick one this week, guys, but uh, I'll see you again next week, and uh, definitely, I hope to God, by then, my laser discs have been, uh, have, have come in, and uh, I'll go through those, because I got some cool ones this week, so, anyway, I'll check, uh, I'll check uh, back with you guys next Tuesday, and hopefully you found something else you want to watch and uh, uh like i was saying in the last week if you've got any um if you've got anything you want to trade or buy let me know and i've got a, a whole slew of digital copies uh from movies that i'm not uh interested in keeping and i'm looking to get off uh, you know get to people really cheap so drop me an email uh that movie guy at icloud.com if you're looking for anything all right guys see you next week